guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my channel about a graphic design. And today I'm going to show you how to create character in low poly style. For this I selected character from the cartoon movie Soul. Low poly is the style of drawing with help of polygons. The main shape here is a triangle, but sometimes you will draw polygons to add a more interesting view to your design. So, if you're interested, please keep watching! At first, guys, some tips and tricks. File place and let's open our character selected place hold and drag move it here now you need to lock your character here you need to lock it now you can be sure that your character will be here select any bright color and pen tool the color must be in the stroke ok and let's start pen tool and let's draw the first triangle you can start in any place what you like I like to start from the top ok guys if you want to continue drawing from this point and if you just press it your lines are disappeared so you need to hold shift and press the point and then you can continue drawing from the point and always close the path hold shift and draw the line okay and close the path Okay, now again pen tool, hold shift and draw the triangle. Uh, you can draw a triangle as you like. The size is your decision. Here is no rules, only your design vision. Okay, let's close the path like this. Now, if you want to stay your low poly style like this and not add colors, here you have unperfect lines, so you can select uh, the lines and here you can change the ends properties, stroke and select round join. Okay, now you see your corners uh, became smooth and now design looks more better now if you need to move for example this corner you can select direct selection tool and you can move any point in any place like this to have more perfect low poly design okay now select this triangle and select eyedropper tool and select here some middle color you can select more darker or more lighter I like to select middle color okay but sometimes you can select the lighter one or the darker one but never select the colors uh, that look like the color that uh, near the polygon the other polygon you need, to, uh, you need to select more contrast color so guys the selection of colors is the main theme in the polygon style okay now if you have here empty places you need to select direct selection tool and move their corners the 
worst thing in the polygon style is to have empty places. Here is our first result and now I'm going to speed art and I will be stop on the most important places. Ok guys, let's continue. Most of designers uh, created the whole grid and then add colors, but I like to create 10 or 12 uh, polygons and, and add colors to see uh, the picture of my design. I think it's more comfortable for me, but you can create the whole grid of polygons and then to add colors, but my way is creating some polygons and then and add colors step by step. So here are our result. Now uh, if you have uh, the smile and the eyes and uh, some interesting details uh, on your design. Here you need to create small polygons and to create more shapes. For example, when you create polygons for uh, hair and uh, for the um, round of your face, you can create uh, the huge polygons. And when you have eyes or teeth or something else, you need to create as many polygon polygons as you can as you can to have more interesting result. So uh, here where we have the eyes and the mouth, you need to create more polygons like this. Now, you have here empty places, so you can select selection tool and move the corners to have perfect design. Ok, it's great. Now let's continue with the eye. Here as well we need more small polygons. Ok, and uh, let's fix the shapes with help of direct selection tool. Ok, now I want to highlight the eye with help of eyebrow. So I need to select some dark violet or better dark blue color and select pen tool and draw here their eyebrow like this. If you don't know how to work with pencil, you can go to the to this tutorial about pencil. Okay, here's our eye eyebrow, and let it be dark violet is better. Great. Now let's continue here with eyebrow. I drew everything around eyebrow and now you can just create the shape like eyebrow like this. Ok. Now we need to select color. Select. Ok. Now select pen tool and draw here the rectangles uh, where you think it will be better. I think it will be great here. Select this color for this part and let's draw here one more rectangle. Okay. Now select the color for this part. And guys, if you think you don't like uh, colors here and you always can select for example this color and double click to the color and select 
the color you think will be better to looks here let's look i think we need to change color for to this and double click here and select more dark violet color like this okay now i drew the left side now i will quickly draw the right side in the same way okay guys i drew the head let's move on to the body and when guys you will be to draw uh, the hands you need to draw polygons straight to the hand line to create the shape like uh, your hand and the polygons on the hand must be smaller than polygons on uh, your body to create the contrast and then their hands will be look better and uh, more uh, understandable okay the hand is ready okay guys let's unlock the character and move the photo here now you see the result let me show you mistakes let's create dark background and move it back now you see i have empty places so i need to fix it to create great design okay now i fix everything i make it a little bigger and group the character ctrl g now let's select the character and copy and paste it okay now select this color pathfinder unite select the character and send it to front move the shape here effect blur gaussian blur and here 17 now copy and paste the blur select this blue color okay now select background and blue blur and move them back now select the blue blur and make it bigger this way okay now select uh, the first blur and make it 70 persons person transparency uh, and the same the blue one selected 70 percent okay now select the ellipse tool hold shift and create the circle black and white gradient here you need to be sure that you have black color and here any yellow color and let's move the slider here opacity screen and make the highlight bigger and move here okay you can make it more bigger this way now uh, select background black and white gradient or just our gradient and here you need to add blue color and move the slider here okay now let's add the shadow here select the ellipse tool and draw the ellipse okay now the liner gradient and here we need this green color and move the slider like this here opacity screen 
and select gradient tool and draw the gradient like this move it up play a little with the slider like this uh-huh now it's great now make it shorter and a little smaller turn it like this put it here effect blur gaussian blur and here six okay now move the shadow here make it smaller okay guys our character in low poly style is ready so guys with help of this method you can draw everything what you'd like for example in last week i drew my own portrait with help of low poly style and if you like my tutorial please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials bye bye guys Mwah. bye